because people have germs and they're in the doctors because they're sick and I really don't want to get their germs. Hey guys, oh, what's up? Good day, good morning, good afternoon because it is now 1 p.m. I'm getting ready to eat my food because it is time for me to eat. And Greg and I are heading out to my doctor because my blood pressure medicine is not working. I woke up this morning, my blood pressure was 144 over 104. If any of you guys know anything about blood pressure, you would know that that's not good. That's basically exactly where um, my blood pressure is staying and my watch is telling me it's time to eat. So I'm gonna eat and my battery is going dead. So I'll come back when I'm like more together. I know that you're curious, I know that you're strong, but life can be furious and things can go wrong. You go, you go, we're better off tomorrow, but who knows, who knows, if we get joy or sorrow. arrived in one piece and I think my blood pressure is probably not higher than it would normally be so that's good that dent spread it apart so there's no way to fix that really you're screwed great so we're at the doctor's office and we just checked my blood pressure and it is 160 right 160 160 over 107 or 4. I don't know. Something like that. 104. It's actually not even that bad, to be honest. Not for me. But we'll see what my doctor says. I'm waiting for him right now. And it's hot in here, too. <laughs> That's so cool. I want a helicopter. Alright, guys. So, we are just now leaving the doctor's office. And I need to take two more medicines. So, it's going to be a total of three medicines. One to bring my heart rate down, and one to bring my like blood pressure down, and then another one to bring my blood pressure down, like my top number and my bottom number, I guess. So that's what we've got to do. Plus, I have to get a sonogram. Was there anything else I have to do? Did he want X-rays or something too? You go walk on that thing or something to test it. Oh God, are they gonna put? Oh God, I have to wear that for like a couple days or something. I'm like, yeah, they'll probably do it there. Oh okay, and I have to get an EKG. My insurance company probably won't be happy about it, but what are you going to do? <laughs> so that's what we've got going on. He sent the medicine in. I guess I'll start taking that stuff tomorrow, maybe. Um, no idea. And that's pretty much it. I got to see my doctor. I love him. He is awesome. And my hair looks really good today. I just wanted to kind of throw that out there. And I have to pee really, really bad. But apparently they locked the bathroom doors at the doctor's office. You have to get a key. And I didn't want the key because people have germs and they're in the doctors because they're sick and I really don't want to get their germs. So I just said, forget it. I'll just hold it until we get home. But we have, what, a good like 35, 40 minute drive, depending on how fast Greg goes. There's no traffic. There's no traffic, so hopefully. Hopefully, I don't know. All right, that's what happens. There's an Ups truck. We know where that place is. You know which way he'll go on when he gets the end of 795? We know. He's from Pennsylvania. He'll go left. Yep. We know. So, I'm home. We had to stop at the library so I could go to the bathroom. And the library was closed. So, you know, I had to improvise, adapt, and overcome. But we're home now. And Greg left to go pick up my medicine. And maybe some dinner. I don't know. And then I got to work out tonight and do all that stuff. So, health is like major priority at this point. And I just sprayed this. This stuff smells like really good. It's limited edition. It's pear and other floral garden enchanted stuff. I don't know. It's really good. I'm gonna see if Greg will buy it because it's only like 97 cents. I mean, hello. 